Let's turn to health care reform. Yep. You have made no secret of the fact <clears throat> you oppose the public option, uh, government-run health insurance to compete with private insurers. With tens of millions of Americans still uninsured, do you think that the government has any moral obligation to find some way to cover them? There is a way to insure the uninsured without doing any of what we're doing. If that were the objective, then I'd be full for it. This is not about insuring the uninsured. This is not about health care. This is about stealing one-sixth of the U.S. private sector and putting it under the control of federal government. And when they get this health care bill, if they do, that's the easiest, fastest way for them to be able to regulate every aspect of human behavior, because it'll all have some related cost to health care, what you drive, what you eat, where you live, what you do, and there'll be penalties for violating regulation. It's going to be the biggest snatch of freedom and liberty that has yet occurred in this country. And in 30 seconds, how do you insure the uninsured without this big overhaul? Well, I've run the numbers, and uh, the, the real number of uninsured that want insurance is 12 million. Take some of the unspent stimulus. We have 85% of the stimulus unspent. Take some of it. For 35 to 40 billion a year, you could insure those people. Not 2 trillion, not 1.4 trillion. If that's the objective, do it now. Do you think the individual mandate is constitutional? Do you think no? The, do I don't think, think the, the government has the right no. to tell people you're going to get health insurance, and if you don't get it, you're going to pay a penalty? I do not think it's constitutional, Chris. This this is these are dark days for the country. This is deadly serious stuff. This is a total attempt to remake the country as founded and constituted, and it it it, it worries me greatly.